Here we go, match day 30. Alright. And we are here. Five minutes till kick off. So we've gone with a 5 3 2 today. Um, as I expected, it's a very similar team to what we usually uh, have panned out with the last five years. Like David Marshall on racing all these Easter roads for the Hibernian. Oh, teams are coming out now. C Come on the well. Predicted today, I'll go with a worry to draw. I mean, we're due to beat them. We haven't beat Hibs since the Covid season, in which a 2-0 win he came here. Uh, and apart from that, we've got one year since Henry Anya scored on the opening day in 2012, I think. So far so good, I think we've actually dominated that first half, there have been spells in which Hibs have got through us and created chances of their own, but I think we've been the better side and we deserve to be 1-0 up, I mean, I'm actually disappointed that we're not further ahead, I mean Van Veen had that chance at 0-0 and then we got the free kick from it and we scored from the free kick and then just after that, or about 10-15 minutes later, we had another chance to make it 2-0, but I genuinely think we deserve to be ahead, so we just need to keep up the levels because Hibs haven't been at it today, it's, it's, the, it's the Hibs side that we never usually tend to get to play against, uh, so so far so good and we'll bring in hopefully a, 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 an equal performance in the second half. Second half about to kick off, on the well. Oh, 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 oh,
Okay.
time at Easter Road, it's my first day with Motherwell win here and it's only taken too many attempts, a 3-1 win, we take that, we were much the better team, come on, come on. yes, completely deserved, we'll happily take that, on to next week against Livingston at home. Honestly, that was one of the best performances of this season. And I'm sounding like a broken record because it's not the first time I've said that under Stuart Kettlewell. To go to Edinburgh and not just win a game, but dominate it from almost start to finish. You know, Hibs had their pockets of chances and, you know, they got in behind us a couple of times. But we, like, when you think about it, I don't think that Hibs really pose a threat and that is different to what we are used to seeing from Hibs like when Hibs play against Motherwell Hibs usually get a good result against us so for them to for once have an off night or an off day uh, that did do us the world of good because um, now that's us what nine points ahead of 11th and you know what I don't think we need to bother looking over our shoulders like under Stuart Kettlewell, we have got a good side that's only going to get better. We took the lead with a great free kick from Sean Goss and I was just praying that we were going to get uh, a bit more action in the second half, uh, like shooting towards us and we got it. I mean, we got the penalty um, and, you know, I, d I didn't feel like there was any looking back. I mean, for five minutes or so, we were playing with a bit of a swagger. Like, we genuinely, f like, I'm not going to say we looked like 1970s Brazil, but we were popping it about, uh, giving a good give and go, and it was just a joy to behold, like, watching this unfold in front of me. Uh, and then, all of a sudden... We switched off at the back and Nisbet uh, headed us home to make it 2-1 and the game was on for, for a wee bit, I think for about 10-15 minutes. Uh, I mean, Hibs were pressing back and it looked like it could be 2 each and it, it was just one of those games. And then all of a sudden we get the free kick on the, on the break. Peyton, on his debut, he signed today. Um he won the free kick it was a good bit of play because uh, he knew he wasn't fast enough to run through and go but he wins a free kick Kevin Van Veen steps up he didn't have the best of games by the way because he, he missed that one on one at 0-0 uh, before we scored the free kick it was like a minute before and he had that great opportunity uh, it was almost like Lyndon Dykes on Tuesday night against Spain it was a one on one opportunity beating the defender and he just poked it wide um, but I mean he scored the penalty that's what mattered I mean it doesn't matter how it goes in it's that it goes in uh, even if it goes underneath the goalkeeper and then the the free kick that that just made his day so much better because he even said on Twitter today that he was off it and he, he just wasn't in uh, mentally but you know what he's a class striker and a class striker can still, even on the bad day, pop up with a couple goals. And he did just that. And I, I, I don't remember the last time Motherwell scored two free kicks in one game. Like, if someone with a bit of trivia knowledge could just leave it in the comments, that would be fantastic. And uh, yeah, anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. It's good to have a win over them. Because we've been due it for a while. And uh, yeah, bring it on next week where we play Libby at home.
Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later.